Hello and welcome to the given session. It says, evaluate the following definite integral. 13th is integral dx upon x square minus 1. Lower limit of integration is 2 and upper limit is 3. So let's start with the solution. First, let us find the value of integral dx upon x square minus 1 by the method of partial fraction. Now let 1 upon x square minus 1 is equal to a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x minus 1. So this implies 1 is equal to a plus b into x plus b minus a on equating the coefficients of constants and x on both sides. This implies a plus b is equal to 0 and b minus a is equal to 1. So we have b is equal to a plus 1. So from here we have a plus b is equal to 0 and b is a plus 1. So substituting the value of b here we have a plus a plus 1 is equal to 0 which implies 2a is equal to minus 1 or a is equal to minus 1 by 2. So a is minus 1 by 2 and a plus b is equal to 0. So this implies b is equal to minus of a that is minus of minus half which is equal to half. Therefore we have a is equal to minus half and b is equal to half. So 1 upon x square minus 1 can be written as in place of a we shall substitute minus half and in place of b we shall substitute half. So we have minus half upon x plus 1 plus half upon x minus 1. Thus integral dx upon x square minus 1 can be written as minus half integral dx upon x plus 1 plus half integral dx upon x minus 1. Now let us solve these two integrals one by one. First let us solve integral dx upon x plus 1. So let us take t is equal to x plus 1. So this implies dt is equal to dx. So here we have integral dt upon t and this is equal to log mod t and t is x plus 1. So we have log mod x plus 1. So this is the value of first integral. So here we have minus half log mod x plus 1. Now let us find the value of second integral which is integral dx upon x minus 1. Now here also let t is equal to x minus 1. So similarly again we have dt is equal to dx. So this can be written as integral dt upon t which is equal to log mod t. That is log mod x minus 1. So here we have plus half log mod x minus 1. Now this can further be written as taking half common. We have log mod x minus 1 minus log mod x plus 1. This is equal to half log mod x minus 1 upon x plus 1. Since log a minus log b is equal to log a upon b. Now by second fundamental theorem of integral calculus the given definite integral can be written as the given definite integral is 2 to 3 dx upon x square minus 1. So it can be written as 
हाफ लॉक मोट एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन लोअर लिमिट इज टू एंड अपर लिमिट इज थ्री सिंस बाय द सेकेंड फंडामेंटल थ्योरम ऑफ इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस वी हैव इंटीग्रल एफ एक्स डी एक्स लोअर लिमिट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ए एंड अपर लिमिट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन बी इज इक्वल टू द वैल्यू ऑफ द एंटी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन एट द पॉइंट बी माइनस द वैल्यू ऑफ द एंटी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द सेम फंक्शन एट द पॉइंट ए सो हेयर दिस इज द एंटी डेरिवेटिव नाउ लेट एस पुट द अपर लिमिट देन पुट अ माइनस साइन एंड देन यूल फाइंड द लोअर लिमिट ऑफ द एंटी डेरिवेटिव एट द पॉइंट टू Taking half common, inside we have log mod 3 minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 minus log mod 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1. This is further equal to half log 2 upon 4 minus log 1 upon 3. Which can further be written as half log 2 by 4 upon 1 by 3. Since log a minus log b is log a upon b, so we further have log 2 by 4 into 3 upon 1. On cancelling, we have half log 3 upon 2. Thus, on evaluating the given integral, our answer is half log 3 upon 2. So, this completes the session. Hope you have enjoyed it. Take care and bye for now.